Hey guys, Wolf here, and welcome back to Now Scarlet's Crew for episode 55. We are going to be doing Pocono, and I don't really know how that's going to go, but we're one top 10 away to getting our incentives, so that's cool. Um, we're going into it with a proper Speedway chassis, so that's always a plus. So I'm not sure which one I went with. I did some practice to kind of get a gauge on what my speed is, and it seems like we're okay. We're definitely off the pace, but I don't know if we're going to get a top 10, so we might lose our momentum. So that's a bit of a scare. So we got some stakes. But here's our settings, same as usual. So there's really not a whole lot else to look at, so um, we'll jump into it. But, but before we do, always a big shout out to my YouTube Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members who support my channel. Again, I really appreciate what you guys do every month. It does help me out a ton. It's always really appreciated. You get uh, perks like early access to videos, as well as channel emotes and all that good stuff when I stream. So there's that. So um, without further ado, we'll get into Pocono at my home track and see if I can do something there. <laughs> Through turn three, car felt all right. Also in the qualify thing, I think my face cam's blocking, but it says one lap remaining. It doesn't say laps. How come they they get fixed on the top right, but they can't? I don't know. I don't know but 55 seven, eh, 20th ain't horrible. We could probably manage something with that. So, oh, we're starting right next to Kerr. Oh, that's adorable. All right, well, oh, Ryan Blaine's back there, so I'm sure he'll hit me again. But who is on pole? Ross Chastain. All right, well. Anyways, I guess we'll kind of just see what we can do. So, yeah. Uh, Chastain's in a DLC scheme. I see Briscoe in one as well. And Austin Hill went to the back, so that's funny. So, let's see what we can do. I'm not really quite sure what this car is capable of in terms of race trim. I've had very little practice, so I, my, my only assumption is... Maybe in the pack we'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know. We did get a nice start. Hit by Justin Haley. So six laps stage. Don't got to worry about pitting in the first stage. Not maybe not even in the second. Ooh, they that's a checkup. I felt it. Luckily, I didn't just run right in the back of Jones, but that could have been really bad. We dodged the bullet. Yeah, gained a couple spots. Turn two is going to be our biggest friend. We can abuse the ever-living crap out of the corner. And hey, the AI can get in that corner at a really ungodly angle and gain time. I think I have every right to cheese it as hard as I can. If that's been a thing since maybe even Heat Evolution. <laughs> that's just that's just how it's always been at this track with, the, with these types of games. So, I don't know. Yeah, through, uh, through this entire first lap, did pretty good. I think a top 10 is actually really possible now. Now that I'm racing up here, this, this, I think it's very doable. Outside, outside. Look at that. We gained two spots in one corner. Didn't expect to gain even one. So I'll take it. Oh, look at Kyle. Oh, boy. Kyle, Kyle Busch has had enough of that shit. I don't know what was going on there, but he just... He backed off, and uh, Kyle Busch is scared. I feel like humanity needs to question themselves. Also, that was shockingly not damage from Reddick there. That was really going to piss me off. But it's okay. Let's get through turn three. Oof, they check up more than I was anticipating, but... We're in the top ten. Reddick's going to give me a shot. Thank you. And with that, I think we're going to get our uh, sponsor goal here. So that's going to be very, very nice. This is our big passing opportunity in turn three. They check up a lot more here than I really expect. But we'll take advantage of that. We'll clear Busher. He'll try to push me here. Thank you. Thank you for being a simp to my driver. And with that, we'll just probably chill an eighth to the end of the stage, I bet. It's the white flag in stage one. I didn't really think I would even be close to trying to get in another position, but here we are trying to pass Brad, so... Should have uh, given this... I need to give this car a little more credit than I think. I mean, if we're going to start up front here when the stage ends and everyone pits, and we might be able to get a top five. It almost seems possible. We're actually kind of keeping up with the leader. The interval has stayed at three seconds, so we are running times comparable to Chastain's. That's even more wild. And out that last corner, eh, all right, we'll take sixth. Very good stage considering where we started in 20th, so I got some very nice expectations here. Oh, my God. That was I seen that right. Kurt drove up the front, up to the front with me. That's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. 
Oh, that's that's so wholesome. All right, well, we'll pit, get our fuel and tires. Nobody gained or lost anything. I think Kurt lost the spot, so that's actually kind of heartbreaking, but we're up here with the main pack. Top five is very possible. I don't know if I could say race wins in the cards, but this is still pretty surreal that we're even up this far. 14 laps in this stage. All right, so yeah, we'll definitely have to pit in stage two. I keep forgetting stage one is so much shorter versus all the other stages. Also, that was a massive start. Can we get to the inside of Bowman here? Can we even try to go for the lead? Ooh, about damn near did. Okay, well, I, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I didn't think we'd get that close. Four laps into stage two, still in third. We're still keeping up with them. It's just the straightaways kill us so much. I mean, we're barely able to hang on with draft. But that's really about it. We're just too little too late in terms of trying to get there. Chastain passed Bowman for the race lead, so there's that. But as far as trying to go further, it's just... I don't know if it's going to happen. Unless we get a really good run through turn two. Which we, but we've been pretty close in the previous laps, but... It's just not quite enough, so... Yeah, well, I mean, maybe in turn three, they usually check up a little bit in turn three, and I got the preferred lanes, so maybe I can do something with that. A little bit of a diamond corner. It didn't work. All right, well, I tried. Pin the slap. I don't know what I did there in the corner. I think I was just looking at my fuel gauge. All right, just pit. Ooh, hello, Chastain. Yeah, 55... All right, we're good. Four tires and fuel out and away, and I mean, we're right there with the leaders. It just, I, I just couldn't ever really find an opportunity to pass them unless I pass them down, you know, down pit road or during the cycle. 15-4, there goes Bowman, there goes Chastain. Oh, okay, Bowman waited for me. That was nice of him. And I think with that, it'll completely secure Chastain in the, you know, stage two victory. Bowman's already trying to pass before we even get into turn one. And he does very successfully, so, uh, okay, I guess we just, we'll just finish third in stage two. <laughs> there, uh, there's nothing I can do, but it's very good, because we got good chase, juicy chase, what, <laughs> juicy stage points. Just like I was saying, we'll cycle out back into third, though the gap between everyone is much more thinned out. So, uh, yeah, that's just, that, that gives us even less hope of us improving our position, so... Third place in stage two, I think, is where we'll finish. Oh, <laughs> okay. Stage ends early. Stenhouse fifth. Ooh, look at Kirk at the sixth. Harvard tenth. So, well, that means since the stage ends early, that means uh, this last stage will be a little bit longer. It should be a one pit stop race, but I don't know what the AI are going to do when that happens. But we, what we are going to do is obviously pit. We're going to up the grill tape. Hopefully that doesn't break the car. And we'll see where that puts us. Well, obviously, n no positions gained or lost. Doesn't Haley gain a spot, but... We saw in the beginning of Stage 2, we were able to get a good launch. That might be able to... That might happen again, we can maybe get the lead that way. Because I don't think we're going to be able to do it in a normal, traditional sense. There we go. Chastain checked up a little bit there. I don't know what that was, but... There we go. Into the lead. Just got to nail the corners. I feel like if we can just hit the corners properly, get through turn two very, very well, I think we may be, may be able to hang on to this. I'm just going to defend this bomb lane like crazy because if I give them any bit of the bomb lane, they're going to they're gonna like just do that NASCAR heat thing where they're just going to really hit the corner at like a really weird angle. And it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It, it, bad things will happen. So that's why I went very. I, I went down low. Dude. Oh my god, my fucking phone. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Bowman, no. I keep freaking. I didn't even shift because of that. No. Oh my race win. But I'll have a race top five. Ooh, look at that. Good run off the corner. I don't know if it would be enough to get by Larson. Maybe. I don't know if I hit him, but 
if I did, then his AI would have started, like, sw you know, swiggling, giggling, everything. It didn't do that, so I think we dodged the bullet there. Just like how I'm almost, like, just drove up across the track of Stenhouse. That could have been bad, but... Alright, well, our half a lap lead was, was fun while it lasted. I messed up turn one. I braked too much. It, like, made me stop, and it's... Damn. Hey, Kurt's up here. Yeah, we're not gonna have the lane we want. I'm just gonna back up here and Hard keep it on the bottom. And I did a terrible fucking job of all that. I didn't even get the corner that I wanted. I didn't hit my apex right. Oh my god. Well, there goes any chance we have of a top five. That's very frustrating because I, I feel like we really had a shot at that. But, you know, I'm just stupid and I just threw it all away. So, hooray to me. Get a nice run here on the front straightaway. Get to the inside, Joseph and Haley. Maybe we can salvage a top five. I don't know. If we get, like, one of those dumb late race yellows, maybe we can be able to BS something out of it. But I don't know. Did get a nice rough turn one. And I'm trying to... I can't. It just sucks I don't have the straightaway speed to really take advantage of these corners. However, we can do that. Oh, we could do that. That was that was kind of hot. Almost got the... Uh, hold on, we almost got the spot in Stenhouse. I think we actually officially got it. Hold on. Get through this corner. Diamond it a little bit. Get on the, the, the curves of that corner or whatever it's called. Slide in bounds. It, it was really rock solid. All right, that was, that was, very, that was very sneaky. Oh, that was hot. That was another really, really sexy corner. And I don't think we're gonna clear him, but Car high here. I Careful. think that side draft. But at the same time, Kurt's side drafting me, so this is kind of a complicated math equation here. We'll take it very aggressive. That was that was close to death. <laughs> we hit that weird transition in the banking. That could have been catastrophic. We hit the grass there again. If we could just have Stenhouse push me past him, that would be very nice. Or even Kurt. Nope. Okay. Well. Well, I mean, but I get maybe Stenhouse isn't an ultimate best friend of mine. I don't know. I get, he's like one of the 11 that aren't in the field. So uh, that is very unfortunate. I think if we can clear Kurt. Oh, Gabe Briscoe will push. Maybe Kurt will push me and we can do some magic, but there goes Stenhouse trying to pass him, so I don't know if that's going to be the, the ideal strat, or if the ideal strat is just to pass Briscoe. Still there. Mm, and I mean, that was, that was pretty good. Maybe we'll be able to pass him here in turn three and be, be good to the end. Because once we pass Briscoe, I don't think we're going to be able to get any more spots. And... Block Stenhouse. Oh, wait, hold on. Briscoe's going to want to push. Thank you. Okay, very nice. All right, well, uh, we're in pretty good shape right now. Oh, that's... That's like the worst time for yellow. Well, uh, I'm going to pit. I'm going to take right sides because by the time we restart, it'll be like seven or six laps to go, so that'll be less than a few runs, so... It seems stupid to do that, but I think that's going to be the right strat. So um, we'll do that, and I hit the wrong button. There we go. That's I'm I'm so stupid. Oh my god, we're in the lead. What? Don't tell me they took four tires. Don't tell me they did. They did like they just outsmarted me. Usually they don't do that. Usually if went to the last like the last stage of the race, and they usually just take rights. So I. There's no way my picker was just that on the mall. All in the ball. Don't know, but we'll get a really good start. So we'll gap them. I don't know how long this is gonna last for. I don't know if we let it lapse under yellow, but we get to add some laps to the to our stat book thing. Didn't think that was gonna happen today with how uneventful well not really uneventful, but how unlikely it was that we were gonna have any chance to lead. And this is why I defend the bomb lane as hard as I did in the other 
uh, earlier in the race because, as you saw, Chastain entered such so shallow. Uh, yeah, just ugh. Oh my God! Well, that's what you get. Oh my God! That's the one fucking thing I hate about Pocono in this game. How shallow of an entry he had. Is such bullshit. I am I am beyond words. I am so fucking pissed that we're in this situation. I don't know what the game possibly wants out of me. I, I can't go that low. It's just... I, <sighs> now we're basically in a scheduled green-white checkered. Justin Haley is now just leading. I don't know why. And there goes our momentum. There goes extra money day. Or extra... Extra 700 something thousand if we kept got our top 10 early. I don't know. Why? Did the field look like I was checking up? That was, was that just me? I don't really know. Well, we got two laps to sum up pull a miracle. We are on the freshest tires in the entire field, but I don't know if that really means anything. But yeah, Chastain did the most Chastain thing humanly possible, and it just destroyed it, like just the whole running quarter. So uh, yeah, big, big shout out to him for being stupid. Since we're going to be able to rebound somewhat. Unless they pit. Which I can't imagine they're going to do something that absolutely insane. I just I just inadvertently helped Logano. That makes me feel gross. Alright, well, it's official. White flag's out. I just hit Logano again. <laughs> okay, well... What a really unfortunate circumstance. I mean, everything was going so well for so long. And then it just all fell apart so quickly. And it's just frustrating because I know we, we had a top five car. We had an easy top five car. But I don't know if they just took four t or four tires or what at the end of the race. Like, they usually never do that. They, they That doesn't... I'm amazed they went with that. We're going to somehow salvage a top 15. Oh, no, we got Ryan Bling. I'm sure. Uh-oh. That's not going to end well. All right, well. Fuck you. Just screw you. D d no. Well, he gets to add the to the rival counter right at the end. We'll bring it home in a top 15. Considering we were 38th, that is absolutely amazing. We even got that far. <laughs> Jeez. Looking at the replay, I'm not going to lie, that wreck was kind of cool. His car got sideways, and then that, that little clip... I'm amazed I didn't DNF from this, because Bowman drove right into me. That felt like that was DNF written all over. But let's... Let's analyze just why this track on this game has always sucked. Look at that fucking angle in the corner. How... Why did he think that... I'm I'm put in such an impossible fucking spot because I, I should have just entered the corner shallow and just compromised everything, but I thought I had enough room. I really did. Then he goes in the corner. I'm not expecting him to go that low. He hits me, he spins, and shockingly, his car comes back up the track, it clips me. Does it bring out a yellow right away? It it, it really waited. I'm, I'm just amazed this did not DNF me. I, I'm, a, I'm really amazed, because usually it, it doesn't take much. But for some reason this time it wasn't, but... Yeah, that just, um... Yeah, leave the Chastain so fucking stupid. I don't, I don't know what the game could want out of me here. I don't know if he was on four tires and I wasn't. Like, I don't I don't know the fucking story. I wish I had that telemetry so I knew, like, what they did. Because I don't know if I legitimately gained two spots during a pit cycle or not. Again, I, it's just impossible to get that technology. It's just, just too far far out of our scope, even though NASCAR 15 literally had it. But, you know, it's just impossible to do that now. And we brought it home. I mean, brought it home 15th, but we're going to lose our momentum, which sucks. And we're not going to get the uh, extra 700 and something thousand when we get the sponsor incentive. And then we can get it again after the Indy Road course, so that would have been even better. But no, we won't. So thank you, Chastain. Thank, thank you for being a dickhead. Thanks game as always for giving me like just no no camera angle to work with for a thumbnail. Like literally I I have no like is it really that hard?
to give us a free cam. I can't use that. I can't use that. Post it or what if you figure it out? I, I'm not going to sit here all day. Uh, 15th. Um, I don't even know who won after all that. It was Kevin Harvick. Okay. <laughs> At least Ross Chastain didn't win after his kibosh, but yeah. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I should have taken four. You should, it just... I don't know. I don't know. Like, usually they don't do that. They never fucking do that. So I don't. I don't know. I'm just beyond words. Well, good. Uh, well, I guess decent payout. And we'll probably lose our momentum. Still the point leader though. So that's almost by 100 points. So Harvick gets. I think is yeah his first win of the year. And I think we led laps, so it'll be interesting to add that to the stat book. Chastain. I mean, he had the fastest car. Don't know why he had to go that hardcore to make a pass like that when if he, he was truly on four tires. See, that's the thing. The AI don't have common sense. Do I have common sense? Okay, maybe like a tiny bit more than the AI, but just just sad. <laughs> just sad. Like, if he truly had four tires and I was on right sides, like, he could have easily gone by me like another lap. Like, it wouldn't even be a problem. But he just wanted to be, he just wanted to be stupid with his freaking forky looking ass eyes. We'll get moderate savings again for like the 55th time this career mode, maybe. And we lose our momentum. And Biffle is uh, Lady Luck is not smiling. And you know what? I agree. Unfortunately, I can't even reply to it because that's just broken now. So, thanks, game. But at least we'll go to the Indie Road course. I know we'll be able to win there and not really worry about that. But that sucks. We got all the work plan stuff situated. So, we're all good to go for the Indie Roval in Michigan and probably Richmond. So, yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we're at least we're able to max stuff out. So uh, we'll start the work. I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Take a look at our rivals. Okay, still one, thank God, because if we get another one, we'll be literally screwed for the end of time. And as usual, JG Ali are ultimate rival. So we have um, uh, 530. We led f four or five laps, I think. I don't know. All right, all right. We'll have to tally it up again. See, so I don't think we moved up anywhere, but I'll, I'll make sure. We did actually lead a couple laps, so uh, five thirty-three times four is twenty-one thirty-two. That will put us basically in the same spot they were running before, so uh, above Bobby Ham Hamilton, but below Morgan Shepard. So we're only about twenty-three away from surpass or tying Morgan Shepard, twenty-four for to surpass him. So. That's interesting, so we'll be 72nd all-time on the lap sled list. So, uh, there's that. Um, but with that, I guess we'll wrap the part up. I don't know if I have bonus race time, post that or what's going to have to figure all that out, but we'll see. Please shout out my tier 3 Patreon supporters at Dan Reynolds, Comic Guys and Games, Save Fire and Chat 15, NASCAR Mercedes.org, Billy Carroll, Golf Kill 100, Mexican League 196, Mark Harmon, Acrofan 5556, and Jason Helmet for the support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It does mean a lot. It does truly go a long way, so... Just thank you as always for the support. It does help me out a ton. And thank you for going that extra step and beyond for me. It's it's pretty damn cool. Next episode, we'll go to, you know, D&D Road Course, which again, I don't think will be too much of a problem. It just sucks that that... We actually had a really good shot to... Not win at Pocono, but we could, had an easy top five, but Chastain had to be an absolute fucking idiot. I really just... I didn't think they would take just right sides. I thought... I really thought... I didn't expect them to take four. That just pisses me off. At least we go into the Indy Road Course and just absolutely obliterate them. So that'll be satisfying. Because we're almost halfway there to getting to our 95 engine upgrade. Yeah, so we're almost halfway there. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know. Well, that'll do it for me, I guess. I'll see you all next episode. See you all later. As always, have a good day, everyone.